Assalamualaikum and hi guys. Today I'll share with you how I add text in the STL file using Fusion 360 and customize this blank mask trap to this one. Before that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'm using Fusion 360 software to edit the STL file. First, we need to insert the STL mesh file into the active design. We center it and move it to the ground. Right click on the document setting and choose do not capture design history. Click on the continue button. Next, right click on the mesh body one and choose mesh to be wrapped. Click OK. Delete the surface by pressing the delete button. Then, click on the create sketch button. Select the plane. To add the text, go to create and choose text. Click on the plane and add the text. We can resize the text and change the font type here. Please adjust the text size so that it touches the body. Right click on the text and choose Explode Text. Now, we will measure the thickness of the text so it will be in the same height as the mask trap. Click on the inspect button and click on these two lines. The distance is 1.06mm. Select the text one by one while holding the shift keys. Right click and choose extrude. Change the operation to join. Adjust the distance here. Or you can adjust it by controlling this blue arrow. Then click OK. Save the file and export it to STL. I'm using Ultimaker Kura which is an open source slicing application for 3D printer. Rotate it to 90 degree to make it lay flat. I set the layer height to 0.2 mm and infill to 100%. Then slice it. This G code file took around 37 minutes to finish and let's see the result. You can also customize this for your family and friends. That's all for today. I'm Suat from Cytron Technologies. Thank you for watching.